Hi, this is Dr. Pachenik. Today I want to talk about liars and cowards. On the top of that list is a woman by the name of Susan Rice. For the past 20 years, I have monitored her behavior all the way from the Clinton administration through the Obama administration. But more importantly, I know her background quite well. A friend of mine who worked in the Clinton administration, Richard Holbrook, who was a senior official in many administrations, said it very succinctly. She's incompetent. But let me explain to you exactly why she's incompetent and why she always makes derogatory comments that are totally inappropriate. Number one, Susan Rice has doctored her education. Yeah, she went to National Cathedral, went to a school, Stanford, where she was Phi Beta Kappa. That's not impressive. Less impressive was the fact that he got, she got a master's degree and a PhD from Oxford, which you basically can buy online, and it just takes a few weeks. From that position, she went to National Security Advisor. However, when she came in as Assistant Secretary for African Affairs under Clinton in the 1990s, and I've talked about this before, she knew very well, and she was... Uh, briefed by me and others to say there's going to be an impending genocide in Rwanda. She did absolutely nothing. She was told the Chinese came in with machetes, the French came in with machine guns and 150 French paratroopers. Genocide killed over a million Tutsis. She did absolutely nothing. That was the earmark for her future. From that point on, she started to lie. When she went in the Clinton administration, she talked about Benghazi, a lie. When she talked about Flynn, it was a lie. She is a pathological liar. And in fact, she seems to be quite brutish, quite forceful, and incompetent. But what a liar she is. Be careful, Susan Rice. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. The next one who comes up and is making derogatory comments about Trump is none other than Mika Brzezinski. Now, Mika Brzezinski is the daughter of Zbig Brzezinski, and she has accused Trump of being boorish, insulting to America, and incompetent. Well, I knew a man just like that in the 1970s and 80s, who was the national security advisor for President Jimmy Carter. He was boorish, insulting, incompetent. And guess what his name was? Zbig Brzezinski. That's right, Mika. Your father was an incredible a-hole who basically could not get along with the State Department. And I worked for a very elegant individual, Cyrus Fance and Warren Christopher, Two wasps who tolerated your father for his gross incompetency. I want you to remember one thing. He was the one responsible for the Iran hostage siege because six months before the Iran hostage siege, I warned him in the National Security Council at the Carter administration, you have to evacuate all of our foreign service officers from Tehran. He did the exact opposite. So welcome to your father. Then on the list, we have George Conway, the husband of Kellyanne Conway, a man who is half Filipino, a man who talks about America, but has always been a coward, never volunteered to serve in our military, never volunteered to be a senior official, always self-aggrandizing, always have to deprecate a Trump, and always a man who thinks he's intellectually superior to Trump and joins the Lincoln Project, which is nothing else than a bunch of failed conservatives who need to attack Trump. Let me reiterate again, one does not have to listen to what Trump says. He can say anything he wants. The most important thing, and I warn everybody, is what he accomplishes. For well over 30 years, I have watched Trump build hotels, condominiums, uh, gambling casinos, and going all the way from New York, New Jersey to Miami. And believe me, the people that he had to deal with, including the mafia and the contractors and the workers all over the place, he had to be tough. So I can assure you of one thing. He will get reelected and he will accomplish a lot. In the words of John Woods, the famous actor and former MIT graduate with me, he said, you can listen to what Trump says, but more importantly, watch what he does. Good night and good luck. James Woods. James Woods. Sorry. Bye.